My name is Harriet Cleveland. I was stopped by the police at a roadblock, and that's how I assumed my tickets. And I couldn't afford to pay them, so I ended up getting arrested and going to jail for them. I was working part-time back then, and uh, I couldn't afford my insurance. That collapsed, so I still had my license. And uh, I got a ticket for no insurance. I went and paid half of it. And that's when my license was suspended because I didn't finish paying my tickets for no insurance. So I was doing wrong driving while I suspended. But I had to get to work. I had to go pick my son up and take him to school and back and forth in the store. And that's how I ended up getting my troubles with those roadblocks. All of them were set up within a half a mile from my house. I was ordered to pay JCS through the courts, $140 a month. And 40 was going to JCS and 100 would go on my fines. If you could not afford to pay your whole 140 for that month, you have to go in every week. It was hard because I didn't like going and I didn't have the money and it's sort of embarrassing doing that. You know, at my age now, I lost my car trying to pay them. I did a title loan on my car and lost that. And, trying to pay my utility bills, you know, and they're getting shut off here and there. Well, I wanted to pay my fine, but I couldn't afford it. And like I said, it just hurt my heart. And I didn't even have that to take, but I had to take something. Until it got to a point, I just got tired and I couldn't take anything anymore. When was that? That was like in a, I paid him $2,000 one time when I got me in. Income tax, and then that was in February, and in March I just didn't have anything else to give them, so I stopped taking anything. I told the lady I would catch up, so I gave her that. I like to keep my word, and that's what she said, Miss Cleveland, you did keep your word. You gave me that. I said, yeah. Well, I don't understand it. Like I said, I didn't know that that was a private company. I thought it was from the city of Montgomery, so I just really lost a whole lot of money paying to them. That didn't go on to my fine. It was a Tuesday morning. My sister had just passed. We buried her that Saturday. So I was still feeling a little down and out. I had my grandbaby with me and I was sitting up giving him breakfast that morning and I heard a knock on the door. And I looked from around my room because I was reading him in the bedroom. We was watching cartoons and I seen a police officer at my door. And in the back of my mind, it wasn't for me because I didn't figure they'd come get you for tickets. I was escorted to jail. And when I went to court, the judge asked me, Miss Cleveland, why haven't you paid your tickets? I told him I didn't have the money to pay it. I can't afford it. I just got a new job. You know, can give me some time. He said, no. So upstairs I went because I didn't have the 1700 to pay. About six of us went to jail that day. It was a sad day. It really was for me and a lot of other ones. There should never have been a JCS period. That's something that never should have happened.